So in this tutorial we're going to look at solving quadratic simultaneous equations or at least simultaneous equations where one of the things is linear like this first one in this question and the second one has a quadratic or squared bit in it. This one's actually got two squared bits in it. Anyway, how do we do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the linear equation and rearrange it to y equals or if it's easier to do it to rearrange it to x equals. And once we've done that rearranging, we're going to substitute for either y or x, if we've done it that way, in the quadratic bit of the equation. That will give us some brackets to multiply out, and then we're going to rearrange the whole thing just to give us a normal quadratic equation. So ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, quadratic equals zero, and then we will solve that equation using either factorization or the quadratic formula. And a little bit of exam technique for you. If the question says, give your answer to a particular degree of accuracy, you must do it using the formula because you won't be able to factorize. If it doesn't give that um, indication of accuracy, you can definitely factorize, although you can use the formula as well. Right, so let's actually do this question. So we're going to take the linear equation, so that's 2x plus y equals 3, it's called linear because that would be the equation of a straight line, and we're going to rearrange it in our case to give y equals, because we can do that very simply by subtracting 2x from both sides, which gives me y equals 3 minus 2x. I'm now going to take that y, so y equals 3 minus 2x, and substitute it in for that y there in the quadratic bit. So I'm going to get x squared plus y squared, but y is 3 minus 2x squared, equals 0. Sorry, equals 4. And you can see exactly what I've done. I've replaced that y by 3 minus 2x to get the x squared plus 3 minus 2x squared equals the 4. And I've now got to multiply out that bracket. And it's a really good idea to do that at the side. And in fact, I've created a box for it. Remember that 3 minus 2x squared is 3 minus 2x times 3 minus 2x. And there are lots of different ways of multiplying this out, but I like to use the acronym FOIL. There is a separate tutorial on this, so I'll do it reasonably quickly. You may have other methods for multiplying this out. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last, and the first term in each bracket is the 3 and the 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. The outer ones, the 3 and the minus 2x, multiply together to give me minus 6x. Inner, minus 2x times 3 is minus 6x as well, and then the last term in each bracket is minus 2x times minus 2x, which is plus 4x squared. I will just do a bit of simplification here. I've got two terms in x, take away 6, take away another 6 is take away 12. So I get 9x, sorry, 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared, which I can now put into um, the original equation here. So x squared, and then instead of the brackets, I've got 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared equals 4. So I've just replaced the square there with that expression I found in my blue box. And now I need to rearrange this to give me quadratic equals 0. Well, the only thing stopping it being equals 0 is that 4 on the right-hand side. So we subtract 4 from both sides. And we'll also simplify as we go along. We've got x squared plus 4x squared there, which is 5x squared. So that's 5x squared. Let's do the x's next. There's just the minus 12x. And then I've got plus 9 minus 4, which is plus 5. And on the right-hand side, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, because of the degree of accuracy, I know I need to use the formula. And I've printed the formula here for you. OK, GCSE students do need to remember that. And if you've looked at my tutorial on using the quadratic formula, you'll know that I like to simplify things first by writing down a equals 
b equals and c equals. Well, a is 5, that's the number in front of the x squared. b is equal to minus 12, that's the number in front of x. And c is the number term, which is also 5. If I were you, I would then calculate b squared minus 4ac. Much better to do it in your head than on a calculator. Uh, minus 12 squared is plus 144, because a minus times a minus is a plus. And then minus 4 times a, which is 5, times c, which is also 5. And 5 times 5, we know, is 25, times the 4 is 100. So this is 144 minus 100, which is 44. Back to my main body of working, I can now say in a much more simple form, x is equal to minus b, which is 12, plus or minus the square root of the 44 we've just calculated, all over 2a, which is 10. And you can stick that in your calculator. If you're not sure how to, do go back to that tutorial on using the quadratic formula. And we get to two decimal places, x is equal to 1.86, or doing the minus instead of the plus in the middle there, we get 0 0.54. And that is how you do complicated quadratic simultaneous equations.